Hi, my name is Abby Hunter, and I am a part of a project to bring light to the creative community in Lancaster. And today with me, I have Gina Ash. And tell us a little bit about yourself, Gina, and how you became an artist. Um, well, I grew up in northeast corner of Colorado in an area that's pretty unpopulated. And just from as far back as I can remember, I always knew I was going to be an artist. I never asked for anything else for Christmas or birthdays besides paints and crayons and pencils. And it was just, I always knew I was going to do that. I never went through a phase where I thought I wanted to be a doctor or anything else but an artist. And how would you say living in Lancaster has affected you as an artist? I love the opportunities here, um, especially in Lancaster Council of the Arts. Um, their immediacy and their willingness to work with the local artists and help promote us is, has been just wonderful. I've lived in other areas where technically there was a lot more going on, but all of it was a little more difficult to get involved in and to be a part of. And so it became kind of overwhelming and, and it made it all more difficult. So I, I really think Lancaster has been a great place to have ended up for me as an artist. What would you say is your favorite medium to work with? I've always had a big love for oils. I've had a lot of success in working with watercolors and watercolors are very challenging and they're very fun because they're very unpredictable. Um, so I enjoy them a lot, but my first love has always been oil painting. Um, I, I love even the smell of the turpentine. Everything about working with it just is, is wonderful to me. And how would you say COVID-19 has affected your life in general, but also your work as an artist? Well, I think of themes kind of in more of a term now of life and death because people have been experiencing a lot more up close and personal experiences with that than maybe we would have had before. Uh, it's kind of fortunate with the way that things have happened through the pandemic to be an artist because my work was already being done in a studio. And so my day-to-day -day life did not really change as much because of COVID as a lot of other people's lives would have. So I feel fortunate in that respect, but in another respect, um, it, it kind of spurs you on to document projects with a bit more meaning to them, as opposed to just painting like a pretty landscape or some flowers, you start thinking, Time may be short if you can only do X number of projects and that's all you may have the time to do. Um, wouldn't it be better to try and do a project with some real meaning and gravitas to it? And I have one last question for you. What does it mean to be creative to you? Well, I, I think a lot of people sell themselves short. As you're, when you're an artist, it seems like one of the conversations that you have a lot is people will say, I wish I was an artist. I'm not creative. I can't draw a straight line. But I think creativity takes a lot of different forms. And most of the people that I meet sell themselves a little bit short. You know, they could be creative at cooking or gardening or any number of other things, but they're really not seeing that as creativity. Um, so to me, I, I see creativity in kind of everything. And most of the other people that I know that are visual artists are usually good at some other creative mediums too, like music or dance or something else. And I kind of see myself as an overall creative person. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Eric, thank you very much.